Hello and welcome. I will be solving this system today by substitution. And um, because whenever we solve by substitution we want to isolate a variable, I'm going to pick the top equation and solve for y just because it doesn't have a number in front of it. So that's going to make it simpler. Okay, so for x minus y is equal to 3. So what I'll do is actually subtract 4x from both sides of the, equa of the equation. I stutter there for a bit. <laughs> and um, it will look like this. Simple. Negative y equals 3 minus 4x, because I took it to the, to the right side of the equation. Then, I will just multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, just because y is negative. So y is equal to negative 3 plus 4x. Great. Now that we have y isolated as negative 3 plus 4x, we can plug that in to the other equation that we have. 4y, right here. Okay. So we have 6x minus 2 bracket negative 3 plus 4x which is actually equivalent to 4x minus 3. And that's equal to 5. So this is just that equation with the y replaced with what we found. Now, I can actually distribute the negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 times positive 4x is negative 8x equals 5. Okay, now, 6x minus 8x is negative 2x. And I want to take this positive 6 over to the right side of the equation. So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Then I can divide both sides by negative 2, and x will be positive half, because negative 1 divided by negative 2 is positive half. Um, great, I found x. Now I still need to find y. So I'm going to plug in what we found for x into, oops, <laughs> I thought that didn't draw, but it did. It took a little while to process. We plug the x back into this equation right there. Okay, so y equals negative 3 plus 4 bracket half. Great. Now we just solve for y. y equals negative 3. 4 times half is 2. So y is equal to negative 1. So that is the solution. If we want it, if we want it as a point, that will be point half comma negative 1. There we go. Um, I will be uploading many more of these. I hope you enjoy.